You know, I'm a big fan of Apple Notes for quick note taking, capturing meeting notes and for my YouTube scripts. Today, I'll reveal hidden superpowers for searching within Apple Notes that go far beyond the simple built-in search function that you might be familiar with. Watch till the end to discover five ways, including add-ons to unlock Apple Notes full potential. Learn which methods I prefer for daily use and understand why. And best of all, you can implement these methods without spending a dime. So grab a coffee, buckle up and let's dive in. Let's start with our first method, the Spotlight app. Now here's the cool part. You can find your notes even without opening Apple Notes. By default, the spotlight shortcut is command plus spacebar, which I've kept. Simply type in the note title that you're looking for. Now let's look for some YouTube notes. If you scroll to the Apple Notes section, you'll see them. Spotlight shows notes with titles that exactly match your search term. It's not comprehensive. So I rarely use it myself. And now let's open Apple Notes. At the top, you will see the search bar with a toggle button. This allows you to choose between searching for your current account or all accounts. Now let's set this to all accounts. Let's type in our previous search term, YouTube. You'll notice significantly more results appear this time. The search returns matches found in titles, in note content, and even links containing the term. You can refine your search further by using special keywords. For instance, you can filter for shared notes or notes with attachments. To remove a filter, simply hit a backspace key. Another powerful feature is smart folders. You could create one called YouTube with various filters based on tags, creation date, or last edited date. These filters can be set for specific dates, date ranges, or certain periods before or after a certain date. You can also filter for notes with checklists, specifying whether the items are checked or unchecked. Additional options include filtering for quick notes or for pinned notes. One limitation is that you can't search for specific titles only. While this method often helps me find what I'm looking for, it's not perfect. That brings us to our next search option. This option is Apple Shortcuts. It's the most underrated app on any Apple device, but it's actually quite simple to set up, even if you're new to Apple Shortcuts. This method allows you to create searches that persist within a smart folder until you choose to clear them. Let's start by creating a folder called Search. This is a smart folder. Set the filter criteria for the search folder to pinned notes. Initially, you'll notice the number of notes is set to zero by default. Now we need to create two Apple shortcuts here. Let's start with the first one and call it find notes. Now begin by asking for input where you'll type in the search term. Follow that with a find notes option where you'll specify that any of the conditions must be met for two criteria we're about to set. The first criterion will be where the name contains the ask for input. Now let's rename this variable to search. The second criterion will be the body also contains the search term. We can add more criteria, but for now let's just keep it very simple. Next pin the results, which will appear as add variable name to pinned notes. When you execute this shortcut, you will see the search folder populate with the search results inside of Apple Notes. Now let's create a shortcut to reverse this action. Duplicate the first shortcut and where it says add, change it to remove. Now running this new shortcut will clear all search results from the search folder. This method allows you to keep your searches until you're ready to reset them. Let's talk about Raycast. The perfect way to describe it is Spotlight on steroids. If you try to search for any Apple Note by default, you won't be able to till you install the Apple Notes extension for Raycast. It's free and the link is in the description. Now open Raycast and you can type search notes. The first time you type this, you'll be requested to grant full disk access. Finish that process to set that up. Now type search notes for the third time and hit enter. You can search for a term within the title, the text, the folders or descriptions with this option. Let's type in the same keyword, YouTube, that we typed. 
it will now show you the results. Now, if you noticed earlier, we got 66 results with Apple shortcuts, which was the highest so far. Now, in this option, you're getting a lesser amount. So another app similar to Raycast is Alfred, a spotlight on steroids. Alfred offers both a free and a paid version. I use the paid version, which includes a powerful feature called workflows. So if you get into GitHub, you'll find a handy workflow created by Sean Ballinger. This Alfred workflow automation lets you search through note titles, content, bodies, and folder names. It even allows you to create a new note on the fly if your search comes up empty. Are you curious? Why not give it a try? You'll find the download link in the description below. Now, my go-to option have been to use the search function within Apple Notes and the Apple shortcuts for most of my search requests. I don't use either of the add-ons. Check out these nine examples of how Apple Notes does things that Notion can't. Also, explore these three add-ons for Apple Notes by clicking the link here.